Oh, here's a new one. I picked up this great big old broadcast board from a friend of mine over in PA. It is a, hold on, Harrison Pro 790. Can't quite see it because it's kind of in the junk pile right now, but uh, it's huge. It's about four and a half feet tall. Anyways, what I need to do is I'm going to wring out the, the pins of this. All the power pins are on this power distribution board and they're labeled, whereas the power input is not labeled. Seven pins. And two, three, six or seven here, whatever this is might be a another one. So we're gonna just kind of ring it out and see what we can find. Alright, got my trusty old altimeter over here. So what we're gonna do is get this dolly out of the way. So over here. And Take a look in here in the end first and see what, make sure the pinouts coincide with, or the pin numbers coincide with what I think they are. One, two. Just need to make the print bigger on these things. Three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay, good. So left to right, top to bottom. Okay, pin one. Whoops, hold on. Let me go get something to write on. So what we're going to do, make a circle on this piece of paper, big old circle, one, two, four, five, six, seven, just like that. Now, ring her out, plugged into number one, well that was cheating. Okay, what are you? I wonder if they're on the same order. Plus 48 volts. Alright, plug into number two. I guess. Nope. Plus 5 volts. Uh, plus 5 volts there, too. And, uh, huh? Oh, plus five return, I see. Well, that might be a little different. I guess the, the plus five volts are... Uh, probably a lot of stuff on that bus. Huh. Alright, what if we put it backwards? It probably won't go backwards. Well, I guess it will. Well, that's a dilemma. I wonder if the plus 5 return is connected to ground. And there's only 6 pins coming out of here, but there are 7 pins in the plug. Oh, that gives me an idea. Let's see. So, would it be, aha, uh -huh. no, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, and unlabeled, is that the same plot, oh no, that's a different picky, uh oh, so where's this go then, it goes up there, goes, oh it goes, oh it's, it's hardwired into here. Okay, it's not even on a plug. So the the connector on the back of the thing is hardwired into the the power distribution board in here, we'll call it. And uh, I guess that's that. Alright, so two is going to be plus five volts, and we're going to see if it's return or not. Alright, number three. 
Number three doesn't seem to do very much. Oh, that is minus 15 volts. Now once I get all, get all these rung out, um, the next video of this board will be of hopefully me attempting to power it up. Uh, one, two, three, four. I wonder if they have the returns all tied together. Okay, what are you? Plus 15 volts. That makes sense. It would be next to the minus 15. Alright. And I like it that all these old boards use 15 volts and 5 volts. And negative 15 volts and 48 for the mic. Uh, phantom power. I mean, that's pretty much the same for everything. So you can just modify any power supply to work with them. That's 5 volts, something or other. I wonder if they got two rails on the 5 volts because there's a lot of logic in this thing. 5. Plus 5 volts. Alright. I guess there's only two more. I may as well just sweat it out. It's roasting over here. Yeah, I know, it's 50 degrees outside, but it's 100 in this shop. And there's no window. That's another that seems to be on the 5 volt rail of some sort. Um, 5 volt return and 5 volts seem to be on the same thing. I'm guessing that one of them is the return, that's the, the 0 volt. And uh, 6. Plus 5 volt, but it might be the ground, or the return. I guess there's enough logic on these things that if you if you try to go off it with a multimeter, the, uh, the 5 volts looks like a dead short. So I'm going to have to figure out how exactly that works. Oh, I know, duh. Okay, for reference, that's the top one. And I'm going from the bottom up all the way down. Oh, you can see that. Yeah, that's why I have the camera on. That's what we'll do. Jeez, I didn't think of that before. Just unplug everything, and then it won't be loading down the 5 volt bus to where I can't tell the, the ground apart from the positive rail. Phew. Alright. Okay, let's try it again. So, number two. Now it should only go to one pin. Okay, so two is five volt returned. All right, so that's technically ground or zero volts. All right, so five, metal on the right. See what you are. Huh? Oh, 15 return and 5 return are wired together. Okay. So I guess it is sort of a ground. Plus 15 volt return. 6 plus 5 volts. Let's see if it's actually plus 5, minus 5. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start. Okay, 6 is plus 5. And 7 is... Let's find out. I'm guessing that... Oh, wait, I don't know what that'll be. Because, uh... That must be a ground. Alright, we'll just call it plus 5 return because it connects to that. I didn't tell you to stop. Alright, 4 
five, six, seven. Looks like it's got plugs for extra modules or something too. I guess you can probably add another board onto here. Add more up top or something. I don't know. All right, well that's it. So that is the pinout, approximately, for a Harrison Pro 790. And it might also be good for an Air 790, but I'm not sure if there's a difference or not. I think maybe it's just the modules that plug in are different because it's this is for production use and the other one's for uh, air use on a broadcast studio. It looks like a really well-built board. Now if I can get them to work, that'd be cool. Well, get it to work because I only have one. Alright, well, I guess that's it. I'll see you in later.